Welcome to another segment of That's Some Scary Shit. Now today we are in Cimarron, New Mexico, and we are getting ready to check into the St. James Hotel. Now we will be staying in room 17. This room is reportedly haunted by the ghost of Mary Lambert, who was married to the original owner of the St. James Hotel. We'll also be investigating room 18, which is said to be haunted by the ghost of TJ Wright, a cowboy who was murdered over a card game. And I did a lot of research while here. I read up on one of the guys that stayed here. His name was Clay Allison. He killed about 11 people within the course of around 10 years here. One of them, he busted out of a jail in Elizabethtown, chopped his head off and actually posted his head up in front of the hotel here on, wow. on a spike. We'll present all the evidence to you and you decide, was that some scary shit? Miss Mary Lambert is one of our permanent guests that we believe to still be here occupying room H17. She did perish here in the hotel. Almost 13 years ago, I did housekeeping here. But one experience in cleaning her room one day, um, the door kept closing. After the third or fourth time, I started to get a little uneasy. And so I spoke up and I said, hey Mary, I'm just here to clean your room, get your space ready for yourself and any guests that might be joining us. Um, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get locked in, so please leave the door open. And at that point in time, I opened the door and I left it open about halfway, um, and it then started to close again, but stayed open about six inches. So I think maybe we found a medium at that point in time. Everything from knocking on the windows, I've had people complain of their feet being fondled in her room, poking, uh, pulling of hair, things like that. Um, people have felt weight sit on the bed with them. So those are just a few fun things that, you know, she does to rile people up. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> she hates that window to be left open. When that window is open in the middle of the night, she'll actually tap on it. We've heard a tapping on this lamp right there and it's funny because you can't do it like with the you have to do it just with the tip of your nail to replicate that sound and that's what you heard the other night while we were sleeping that's what i heard i heard it three times in the middle of the night so we're going to attempt to get something on the spirit box next to this lamp and we're just going to wait to see if we can get anything from this window if you're in here, do you mind tapping this lamp again? We capture something on the spirit box that sounds like it's saying, maybe later. Listen to the replay. What do you think? If you're in here, do you mind tapping this lamp again? Next, when we asked Mary if she was okay with us being in her room, we captured a very clear no coming from the spirit box. Take a listen. What do you hear? Are you okay with us being in your room? Were you trying to let us know that you were in the room the other night by tapping this lamp? My person! My person! My person! What we're going to do is we're just going to sleep with the window open tonight and maybe have a camera rolling on it to see if we can capture anything else. But other than that, it's been pretty uneventful in this room. Yeah. TJ Wright's gonna be another one of our <clears throat> permanent guests, if you will. And he frequented the St. James due to the gaming and the gambling that they did here. Um, we have him quite a few times in our original registry and ledger under the name of Thomas James Wright. He occupied room 18, and the night of his death, he apparently won the deed to the property in a hotel game against the owner and founder of the hotel. Um, he was shot somewhere between the poker room and the banister of the stairs on the second floor and he did make it back to his room but he then perished there and he is uh, known to roam the building ever since. So I was here about three and a half uh, years ago with my friend and we were kind of just walking before we left and doing like a last minute tour and we walked by TJ's room here and I told him like, next time I'll come, I'll buy you a shot. And I did catch an EVP of him going, yeah. Next time I'll come, I'll buy you a shot. Yeah. 
I didn't want to disrespect him, you know, so we're gonna go ahead and put it right up here. There you go, TJ. There's your shot. Enjoy that. Now at this point, we head into the poker room to attempt to make contact with the ghost of TJ Wright. Now we bring Deja and a few other hotel guests along for an impromptu game of cards. Now there were two rules hotel employees asked us to observe while playing cards with the spirits. These rules are do not pound the table and do not use curse words. What's your name? Can you tell us your name? Do you want us to deal you in? If you want us to deal you in, can you make the light turn green for us, please? What's that for? What's that for? Yeah. You said yeah. I, I just heard yeah. 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 What are you going to do with them? Oh. Do you want to trade in? Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want to fold? Now at this point, Daisha leaves the card game and heads back to room 18 to offer TJ another shot. It is at this exact moment that the REM pod goes haywire. We used to have a guy, you know, the night before I started working graveyards, we used to have a guy in the back cleaning did cleaning at night mm -hmm. and so he was cleaning and he got hit in the back with a wet towel and there was nobody else in the kitchen oh wow and another time he came out to the front desk and just stood there and said okay what happened I just saw a knife fly through the air it's like okay let's go so he opens the door and he sees a full body apparition come down the stairs and walk down the hallway and disappear oh. and you know by the time I got around the desk it was already gone right. but we started walking down started getting goosebumps and started smelling rose perfume all right, so the last place we're gonna try is the bar inside the restaurant. And this is the spot where there's actually bullet holes in the there's ceiling. Like six of them. One of the ladies at the front desk was telling me earlier that someone had taken a picture in this bar, and when they developed the picture, there was actually a face in between the husband and wife that was taking the picture. Aren't there any gamblers here? They said there were here. I'm sure there's probably some lost souls still here gambling. If you're here, can you make the REM pod go off? Are you here, TJ? Who shot up the ceiling here? Are there any cowboys here at the roulette table? Can you make my REM pod go off? We are leaving the bar area now. We didn't get anything. Uh, I guess we'll check the voice recorder to see if there's anything that we might have missed, but we didn't get any REM pod activity and we didn't hear any audible EVPs tonight. Well, that's a wrap on this segment. It seemed like a pretty uneventful stay. We had a few hits. Something definitely was tapping on the lamp in room 17 next to the bed. We didn't get it on camera though. It was at night while we were asleep. Uh, we met some great people. Cimarron's a beautiful town. Everyone that works at the hotel here is wonderful, very accommodating. We had a great time. We'll definitely be back. We highly recommend coming and staying at the St. James Hotel. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.